Hey guys, welcome back to Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. This is part 56. And we're finally gonna do the ultimate construction. We can do this after um, Mr. Cat's dungeon is done, uh, which is good because after the trauma of Mr. Cat's dungeon and the whole situation with Cordelia, we need something fairly lighthearted to uh, take our minds off of that. This place is so goofy and stupid and wacky and my mouse is on the screen, I gotta crop that out somehow. So uh, we have the choice to follow Mr. Beaver's rules or not. As you know, Mr. Beaver is kind of, you know, kind of a parody of, you know, I don't know, hardworking America and uh, decent values and... Uh, expecting everything to be in its proper place and this kind of thing so you know whatever but it's it's funny that this place is doesn't even look like a real house it looks like it's made out of all these flimsy materials like one of those insta houses there's all these like weird like red and blue tiles everywhere and uh, and this music is honestly super awesome it, it has this sort of goofy feel to it, almost like a cross between uh, like Pajama Sam and Mother 3, almost. Um, Mother 3 seems like a cool game. I should get a, I should actually get a Game Boy Advance emulator. A lot of, a lot of my favorite games are on Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, so uh, I should, I should get that going. I should also get a Super Nintendo emulator. So technically, uh, Open EMU does work with all of that, but. My new controller only works with a uh, PC and not Mac, and Open Emu is Mac only, and I don't know, I'm kind of just using that for Nintendo 64 games right now, and I like playing Nintendo 64 games with a Nintendo 64 controller. Anyway, this is like, uh, like Dune, because, oh my god, everybody's talking about Dune 2. And I've only seen, uh, I've seen the old Dune, and I've also seen the new Dune Part 1. But honestly, I don't care about Dune Part 2. Uh, I'd rather just read the book, or rewatch the, the uh, David Lynch Dune. It's kind of sad because David Lynch hated making uh, Dune, but it's still, I think, it's still a good movie. It's a really cool movie. But whatever. We're here on the ultimate construction. It reminds me of like a weird, weird place. You know, you can buy like pre-constructed homes for super cheap and then just like furnish them yourself. Uh, so, I don't know, it's clearly what you... So, it's so weird. Like, how can any of us afford to actually buy a house these days? But it's like... Parts of uh, America that are getting so damn crowded, and there's parts of America that are literally just like miles and miles of like empty land, empty farmland. I don't know. Here's a, uh, a giant board game. So, this is kind of fun. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. And it, it's, uh, I'm tired. I should go to bed. I should go to bed instead of drinking a rippet. Because last night I drank a rippet and my excuse was just, I'm bored and I want to go out and get out of the house to the store and buy something. Because it's like, when I haven't gone out of the house all day and I haven't like, you know, seen anybody, like seen any friends or people that I know and I just feel like I want to just do something to just get out of the house, even if it's going to the dollar store and buying a stupid energy drink. And I, I love Rip It. I don't know why. It's just so sugary, but it's got all these different flavors and like, yeah, it's got a lot of caffeine, so whatever. But I drank a Rip It this morning. It's funny, it, it, in the morning it doesn't hit at all for me. I mean, it, it sort of does. I'm like, oh yeah. But like in the evening, I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> why does my head feel all crazy now? Why does my head, why does my head feel like uh, all the blood's rushing to it all of a sudden? Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. There's a there's a YouTube channel uh, 
called The Caffeine Man, and I'm just aware of him. I haven't actually watched any of his videos, but he just, like, he just tries all the different energy drinks, and I think that's fun. It's cool. I've been watching this guy, Nick Johnson. He does a video about, like, what's it like to live in each of the 50 states in the U.S., and he does videos on, like, the best places to live, but a lot of videos on, like, you know, the crime and all the problems in the U.S., uh, you know, the bad, the dangerous areas, and just, like, uh, what's become of different places in the U.S., what's become of uh, Arkansas, what's become, what's happening to Boise, you know, where's, where's the new best city to live, is it Austin, uh, or uh, is it Phoenix, Arizona? Because those are two of the, I think, fastest growing cities in the U.S. right now. Um, I don't know. It's kind of funny to hear this uh, battle theme with all like the record scratching and whatever, because it's like... We're on part 56, and it's like, yeah, we haven't heard this uh, battle theme in, like, 50 parts. So after we get done with the ultimate construction, we, we've got two Nexus points, a few Nightmare Dungeons, only two? And one of them I recorded already, the one of them is right after this, so... Uh, we, um... We have a... We have to go to the Iron Flamingo, do a boss fight there. We have to go to the uh, Volcano, do a boss fight there. That's one of my least favorite. Oh, we have a third uh, Nightmare Dungeon and a fourth. Okay. But they're... one of them is one that I've never done before, and one of them is just one that I don't like because the boss is... Uh, in my opinion, the hardest in the game, or just my least favorite. This, oh, is this the one that's like, make every left turn available? Which is like a really weird instruction. But it's basically just to take like this super specific pattern around the room where you just take a series of lefts. There's the, I like that little kitchen area, that's cute. Just keep making lefts. And you make another left, and you make another left. Here we got a, another rad ghost, a super rad ghost. Evade, evade. <sighs> I'm sorry. In your face attitude. Uh, I just, uh, I just got done recording some post-commentary for Banjo-Kazooie. I had some New England clam chowder for dinner, and uh, I've been watching some video essays about uh, South Park, like different South Park episodes. So that's been fun. I, I learned a lot about Scientology from the video that was about the video, or, or about the South Park episode that cr criticizes Scientology. So yeah. I have a lot of, uh, strong feelings, I guess, on, like, religion and cults and these different things, as I feel like anyone should, but, you know, re religion that, uh, or cults that sucker people out of their money and, uh, offer them, uh, happiness under false pretenses is the, uh, lowest form of, uh, lowest form of a con, or the diddle, as Edgar Allan Poe called it. He has that one, he has that one story that's called The Art of the Diddle, which is just super funny, uh, considering that diddle means something <laughs> slightly different uh, today, in today's slang, or I guess in the 1950s slang. I'm not sure when uh, diddle as uh, something sexual came into prominence. I'd have to ask a etymology nerd on Instagram uh, about that. No, he's cool. Oh, this is the one where we had to wait five turns before killing anything. Yeah, this was a, this was a weird fight. 
The skitter bouquet, so it's supposed to be part dog, part flower. That's not very nice. They're going again, oh my god. I like the cloud prince, I like his design. He looks very confident. His chin is very sharp. I like his pantaloons, they're like... Oh yes, you have quite distinguished pantaloons, sir. Anyway, let's please get this stupid fight out uh, over with. Please stop using, uh... Oh yeah, the reason I referenced Dune at all was because, like, he puts his hand into the box, and Paul Atreides has to put his hand into the box. I don't know if that, uh, reference was clear or not. It was clear in my head. I mean, it... The thing is, in my mind, like, Kyle MacLachlan is Paul Atreides. Like, there have been so many movies coming out with uh, Timothy Chalamet in them. And uh, the funny thing is that Timothy Chalamet is, like, from New York City. And he's, like, from the same neighborhood as me. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and, like, went to high school near where I went to high school or whatever. But... I don't know, the more movies I see with uh, Timothy Chalamet, the less I like him as an actor. Whereas Kyle MacLachlan is, like, still one of my... <laughs> I said that really weirdly, and now I have to make fun of myself about it. Kyle MacLachlan is still one of my favorite actors of all time. Kyle MacLachlan has this very kind of, uh, like... I don't know, a a gravitas about him that I really like. And then Mr. Beaver's talking about how he doesn't like imperfections and he wants to build, like, you know, so many floors onto his ultimate construction and then, like, build it on the moon and make, like, 69 floors and, like, make it so that, like, <laughs> she'd have to walk three days to get to the supermarket. I mean, it's honestly like that in some, like, like, you get out of these East Coast cities these damn East Coast cities, because, uh, you know, living in New York and Baltimore, that's kind of all I know. Like, the rest of the country, the South, the Midwest, even the West Coast, is so spread out. I honestly... I... I don't hate it. I don't hate spread outness. But I also don't hate living in a city where you can walk, like, two blocks and get some soup. Get this man some soup! You know, because I'm lazy and I, I don't want to... How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to cook when there's no, like, good grocery stores? Uh, I don't know. To me, cooking is, like, opening up a can of soup, heating it up on the stove, and then eating it. Or, you know... The, the most cooking I've done recently is that stupid, like, recipe that I invented uh, with, like... Uh, I did the, I, or I invented, I guess, two recipes, but they were similar. Uh, one was, um, one was mac and cheese and one was ramen, but they both had, like, a little bit of beer, uh, uh some fried eggs, and some shredded mozzarella cheese, and I just kind of mixed it all together, and I was like... I'm getting my protein. <laughs> it was kind of like, it was very fattening. I just felt fat after eating it. But you know, sometimes you feel fat after eating cheap food and then you just have to take like a good walk afterwards. Which, it's been so nice. But the weather dropped uh, like 10 or 20 degrees today. Not only that, but it's just like, it's like wind winding like crazy it's so freaking windy outside now i get it it's probably not as windy as it is like out in the midwest someplace but it's still it's freaking windy like i have crappy windows in this uh stupid apartment so if i don't have the window locked uh with the window latch or whatever it's called that my window will go like bonk, 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 like against the frame from the frickin' winds, and it's just like, I hate it. Um, anyway, we 
you have the full classy set, right? So, uh, classy, classy Jitto, one of the composers from Pizza Tower, which Pizza Tower apparently got a, uh, uh, update with a new playable character, and I haven't got back and revisited that game, which, uh, I don't know if that means that it's like a whole new game, like, you know, you play through Mario Galaxy and then you play through it again as Luigi. Because I have been wanting to do a playthrough of that game, but it's been taken over by, like, the Gen Alpha kids, and it's become their game, which is really annoying, like, the Fortnite kids. I mean, it's still not as popular as Fortnite, so that's some comfort, but it's kind of sad because I, w I was really enjoying that game before, like, every meme on TikTok had the, uh, stupid screaming... Pizza Tower, man, meme. It's like, oh my god. Even my ex-girlfriend would send me a few of those memes, and I was like, no, stop making Pizza Tower annoying. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> stop making it another, like, stupid SFM Team Fortress 2, like, I don't know. All these basic... No, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to end the video in a weird place, so goodbye.